Samuel Asamoa says, I have a question on phosphorus. I want to know if applying a 10-1-10 NPK can build phosphorus levels in the soil after a while. If you're in a, if you're, it depends on the soil. I mean, if, if you are, if you have a soil, let, let's say, for example, you have a, a mollusol. Let, let's take, um, trying to, let, let's take a soil, let's take a soil from Kentucky. Okay. Where we have phosphorus levels in the hundreds of parts per million. They're already in the hundreds of parts per million. You wouldn't normally apply phosphorus in that case. But if you did, what, the question is, could you build up phosphorus levels? Well, when you already started a phosphorus level so high and so inflated, you're going to have a minimal impact on it. Okay. But if you have a soil that starts very low, starting off 10, 15, 20 parts per million, maybe like three phosphorus, applying that one part per million phosphorus is probably not going to do much but you're going to have a greater impact when the soil starts off very low than you would if the soil starts off very high. I, I, I have a great deal of skepticism if, to say that that amount of phosphorus would likely result in some sort of you know, um, uh, concern and buildup of phosphorus. Okay, You probably would have very minimal impact on the amount of phosphorus in the soil building up. However, having said that, what I'm more concerned about than that is the rationale why you would use that that's what you know whether or not you you know build it up and don't build it up that's a whole nother scientific issue but how do you know that you need to apply that phosphorus because my definition of excessive phosphorus or too much phosphorus is any application of phosphorus to a soil or to a turf grass i should say that is not deficient in phosphorus or has not ever exhibited a phosphorus deficient phosphorus deficiency if you've never exhibited a phosphorus phosphorus deficiency and the turf grass is not currently doing it, showing its phosphorus deficiency now, then there's no reason to apply the phosphorus at all. But the, the, the thought process, the critical thinking skills that it took to come to that conclusion is what I'm interested in developing in the audience. It's not whether it's one, one unit of phosphorus or 10 units of phosphorus or 20 units of phosphorus or straight phosphorus. That's another issue. It's the reason why you chose to, to apply it at all. Do you have a good reason? The, the potassium and the, and the calcium and all this other stuff, that's an economic waste in many, many cases. With potassium, there can be a harmful effect for sure. It can happen, but it's more of an economic waste. With phosphorus and nitrogen, we have to consider both the economic waste and the environmental risk involved from applying those nutrients when we don't need to.